This story is from the AITA subreddit and is titled, Am I the Astronaut for Making a Big Deal About Being Excluded from My Brother's Wedding Photos? So my mom was widowed before she met my dad and she had my three brothers from her first marriage. By the time I was born, they were 11, 9, and 8, and I think their dad had been gone for three, three to four years at that point. I always loved and looked up to them, but I can't admit now that they were never too into me. Mom would bring us all together for movie nights, family game nights, hikes, bowling, museum tours and stuff, but that gap between us never closed. I didn't see it when I was younger. I felt so lucky to have three big brothers, and people used to say how sweet it was to be a little girl with three much older brothers to look out for her and protect her. So I believed that's how it was, and I would get so caught up in it whenever they visited that I ignored how much they avoided being around me or how cold they were to me. They also don't have a close relationship with my dad, but I knew they had a different one and thought that was pretty typical. But I still thought they were real siblings, I guess. My oldest brother got married last year, and the wedding was the experience that opened my eyes, I guess. My brother's wife got a few sibling photos taken in different poses and stuff, and my brothers had photos together, and my brother and his wife posed with all the siblings. But all the siblings did not include me. I was not in any of the sibling photos. Okay, time out. Red flag. I'm going to throw that right there, and also... We don't know how, how old OP is right now, do we? We do not. I do not have an age for OP right now. 16? Okay, it says in the next paragraph, she's 16. She's 16. My mom even came to get me, and, and I then watched as the photos were taken without me. My mom told my brother I was waiting, but he said I would only be in the bigger group photo at the end. When it came to the immediate family photo, it was just my mom and three brothers with my brother's wife and her parents and siblings. Dad and I were not included in that. My brother did this really sweet dance with his wife's youngest sister, who was 14 or 15, I think. I'm 16 for reference. And that was like a major highlighted thing, but he didn't dance with me at all. And neither did my other brothers. Two or three months after the wedding, it still bothered me. And then we went to my brother's house and I saw that I wasn't visible in the bigger wedding photo. Like you would not realize I was there at all. That really upset me, and I told my parents after that I didn't want to go back to the house anymore. I got kind of upset, and the whole wedding and then the photo in this house overwhelmed me, and I started crying. My mom got so angry at my brother, and all three of my brothers then told mom that she was overreacting and was interfering. She told them how upset it made me, and they said I was making a big deal out of something I shouldn't be because I should know they're not close to me and don't see me as their real sister. They said I was just being an overdramatic baby and making a big deal out of something I should just forget. They were really angry at me. My mom and them are still fighting about it. Am I the Askinaut? Um, Okay, they were 11, 9, and 8 whenever she was born. 11, 9, and 8, I don't think is is too old or old enough to be, you know, to be unaccepting of, of a new child coming into your family. Would it be different if... If it was like full on their biological sibling, still a half sibling, but just wasn't accepted at all as a member of their pack, as a member of their clan. Why is there some kind of difference in treatment that she got growing up, which she didn't control, by the way, all she wanted from these guys was love. And for whatever reason, they were like, yeah, we're good. And you're going to tell me that that an eight year old made that decision from the get go to be like, yeah, I'm going to keep my distance and an 11 year old. 11, 9, and 8, those three were like, yeah, she's not with us. That's some bullshit. There's got to be more going on in the back end that has that, that creates that kind of separation. If they just did it just to do it, it just doesn't make any sense. And it makes it that much worse for them to do. I'm guessing they have their own reasons. Everybody thinks they're doing the right thing for whatever fucked up reason it is. But there's got to be more to it than just, yeah, you didn't come from the, the same, the same dad as us. Or maybe that's how they coped with losing their dad. They pinned it all on you, OP. No matter what, it's not your fault. You're not the asshole for this. You didn't do anything. Whatever decision they made had nothing to do with you. It had to do with environmental factors that were beyond your control. You became the scapegoat for their grief or their frustration or whatever the f*** it was. It was not your fault. And here you are, 16 years later, they're still taking it out on you. And going out of their way to take it out on you. That's bullshit. When you are going out of your way to take something out on someone who has no control over whatever your frustration is, you're an asshole. Brothers, you're a trio of douche canoe assholes here. Because you've been treating your sister like this the whole time. She's just now catching on. But you made a spectacle of it this time. Do you understand how damaging that could be for a 16-year-old who thought... 
You were all her big brothers and you had her back. Now she's finding out she doesn't have any brothers at all. In fact, you all hate her. Dicks. <sighs> now, quick glance there. You're a bunch of ass con ones. I'm sure there's a ringleader here. I'm sure it's the older brother who corralled the, the other two into, into whatever this f plot ended up being, but they're all, they're all hive minding this. They're all sticking together on this. So you all get the ass con one label here. You're shit people. You're not just being an asshole. You're not just doing the wrong thing. You are terrible people who are taking out whatever the f your problem is on a kid and have been her whole f life. And now she's 16 and finally caught on and it's really upsetting to her. And you're like, oh, you're making, you're being over dramatic. Yeah, she's in the wrong. Dicks. <sighs> I like mom going to bat here. I like mom going to bat because she's there, mom too. She's going to bat and she's like, you guys, this is bullshit. I wish that would have would have happened much, 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 much sooner. That would have been great if she would have done this a long time ago and squashed this before it grew into this this festering fungus that it is now. I don't know where festering fungus came from. It's just that's what happened. The title of this one was AITA for making a big deal out of being excluded from my brother's wedding photos. Probably she's the golden child and didn't know. This happened at birth. They decided that they just, you know, they didn't want to be, they didn't want to be connected with her. And yeah, that could be, it could be that, that mom's new hubby is better off and that she got a lot of things that they didn't get as kids. But guess what? She doesn't control that. She didn't make those decisions. She didn't, she didn't say, yes, I'm going to have a better life than you guys. <laughs> doesn't matter what the issue was. It wasn't warranted. If they had an issue and if they thought that was the case, then then they should be redirecting or directing that ire at mom or at stepdad or whatever the fuck. Taking it out on the kid who's just now 16 ain't the play. It's cowardly bullshit. Cowardly. Paternal influence or paternal grandparents could have influenced the brothers against OP. Thought about that. It's possible. So and that's what I mean. There's in, there's environmental factors going on. There's there are other things going on that's causing them to to. Focus on her, but that's that's a that's a secondary side effect. They can't. There's nothing to pin this on her for. There's nothing to say that she did this. She's at fault for this, which makes her innocent and makes them bullshit assholes. Angel, yeah, I hope she's super successful and shuts them out later in life. Hell yes, that would be great. Uh, OP, here's the play: become an author. Write your own modern day adaptation of like Goldilocks and the three dickheads. And, you know, of course, change their names, base some characters on them, uh, make a shit ton of money based on their assholishness to you through life uh, and then never answer their calls. When you're ready to get married, send them a wedding invitation, but not to invite them, just to let them know that it's happening. And in there, in there, it can specifically say you're not invited. Just thought you should know this was happening. <laughs> 